Hello, this is Pamela, and you are in Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Today, we are going to make um, some crochet toilet paper. And here is what you're going to be making. I made about one, two, three, about four sheets, and then you will need one of these. So, let's get started on this. Um, besides needing a toilet paper the brown part of the holder of the toilet paper. You will need some medium four weight yarn. And I've got purple here. You will need a um, stitch counter. And I am using an H 5.0 millimeter hook. And you will need a pair of scissors. Okay, so to get started, we are going to chain 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you should have 16 chains. Okay, so to start row one, we are going to do work a, a one half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So there's one, two, so we're gonna work a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. Okay, so now we're gonna work one half double crochet all the way to the end, to the last chain. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So you should have a total of 15 half double crochets. That was row one. So for row two, and actually this will be row two through nine, what we're gonna do is you're gonna chain one, you're gonna turn, and you're gonna work one half double crochet in that same stitch that you did your chain one, and in each stitch all the way across, you should have 15 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15. So now you have two rows. Row three, you're just going to repeat row two. And I'm going to let you do this on your own. Row three through nine, you just repeat that same row two. And I'll be right back with you. Okay, I just finished with row nine. So you should have nine half double crochet rows. It should look like this. Now for row 10, this is your um, perforation type row. And what you're going to do on this is you're going to chain three and the chain three, unlike the chain one, the chain one did not count as a stitch, but chain three will count as a stitch. It's going to be a double crochet in a chain one is what it's going to represent. So let's chain three. One, two, three. So since you're counting that, that means that's this stitch. So you're going to skip this stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. It should look like that. So chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. Whoops, sorry about that. And then chain one. We're going to skip this stitch and we're going to double crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to chain one, skip the stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one. We're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to double crochet in this last stitch. And there we have it. You should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double crochets across there. And that's going to represent your perforation line of the toilet paper. Right there. Now, you should not ever end on this. This will actually be row 10. And then from here on, what you will do is you will repeat this process. So the next row, so you want to reset your counter to zero. And then one through nine, you're going to repeat row two. One through nine. So we're going to start now. We're going to chain one. Turn our work. And we're going to see, uh, half double crochet in the same stitch and all the way across. So you should have 15 half double crochets. It's two. Three. Four, five. Sorry, I had to pull more yarn. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten.
11, 12, 13, 14, and your 15th will be at the top up here of that chain three. Okay, so you have 15 half double crochets. So that was row one. And you're just gonna repeat for however many sheets. So chain one, turn, and we'll do one more row. Row two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. That was row two. Now, I think you probably get how to do this now. So, just to kind of show you Going to unwind my toilet paper here. And this is basically how this will look. You'll just put it on your toilet paper holder and you'll just wind it as you go, as it gets longer. Okay, I just finished my second sheet and um, I have nine rows. Now, if you want, this is, all you do is rows one through nine for a complete sheet. And if you want to continue on to another sheet, that's where you will do this row 10. But once you're done, let's say you want five sheets of this, you would do one through nine, a perforation row, which is row 10, and then one through nine. When you're done, you can just cut your yarn, tie it off, and weave in the ends. And sometimes your yarn will be a little thicker, make things a little wider, depends on the yarn that you use. Obviously, this purple yarn is a little wider than the white yarn that I used. Well, actually, it looks about the same. Okay. The yarn that I'm using is Red Heart Super Saver, by the way. It's just medium four-weight yarn. Um... I've got, this is, I've got to continue this. I'm making this for someone. And so, um, I'm not going to tie it off. But if you, when you're finished with your work, to tie it off. And you take a yarn needle. And you just weave it in. I do mine several times. Just to make sure it holds good. I forgot to mention you'll need a yarn needle earlier. And then you just cut that off. And there you are. So... You can make this fun. You can have all different colors of toilet paper that you want. So that's all that I have for today. If you have any questions, just leave a comment in the comment box.